anyway yes oh <laughs> i think this is a very good investment so i've been thinking about this for like the past two weeks and Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tanika. I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines, here in the UK, and in the US as well. If you're new here in this channel, then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update. Alright guys, so pardon me <laughs> of how my hair looks like because um it's not part of the style actually. So it's actually the end of the day. 7.24, I'm about to shower and then my Amazon parcel came and I'm really excited because we're gonna do an unboxing video. <laughs> so if you are new here in the UK or if you don't know yet, alterations here for clothes and you know, things like that, it's expensive. <laughs> so how expensive are we talking about? So for example, like the trousers, if you just want to cut a bit so like the length will fit you. So that would cost around 25 pounds for one trouser so it's so expensive and i wouldn't pay that in the philippines if you have like alterations for like um just breaking the length of the trouser it'll be if i'll convert it into pounds it's just gonna be like one to two pounds for that alteration so 25 pounds is just way too much so i haven't really had like you know clothes that's been altered here in the UK never because I know how expensive it could be. I mean you can hand sew that's fine but like like a proper alteration which sometimes you actually need. So for me because I'm five feet and one or two inch tall it could be difficult because um, the jeans or you know the trousers could be like longer so obviously um, Asian Asian body size is different from Western. It could be a problem sometimes, but obviously there's like a petite section or for trousers, they're short, regular, or tall, depending on your height. So that helps. But sometimes when something is on sale or something that you really want, but it just, you know, doesn't fit you just a tiny bit and you could have just done the alteration yourself, then that would be really great. So yes, I finally have decided to actually invest in a proper sewing machine so i actually bought like a handheld sewing machine it did the job but obviously it's really difficult it needs to be a two-person job because someone needs to hold to hold it and stuff so it's like a stapler but it is like a handheld sewing machine anyway yes oh <laughs> i think this is a very good investment so i've been thinking about this for like the past two weeks and i've also obviously had my research so this is the cheapest one that you can buy that is actually good in amazon it has good reviews and i've also watched a youtube tutorial on how you know it's used and it's very good for um beginner like me so it's the brand is brother so there's also another brand singer and obviously different brands but i think brother is a good brand so the model is ls14s <laughs> and if you have an amazon account it's actually there it's actually 89 pounds so you see that's like how many trousers would that be three or four trousers so why just not buy your own sewing machine and just do it yourself and you can alter more clothes that you know needs to be altered anyway and this one on top if you <laughs> you've been wondering this is just um the threads and other stuff for sewing oh so yes this is my sewing journey <laughs> gonna be it's gonna be great because lately i've been thinking about what what i can do as a hobby or you know in my past time wherein i can put my energy towards to aside from shopping because lately it's just been all about you know shopping for me at least so yes it's good that i'm gonna be doing something else so this is it guys so come on let's open it So it has some weight on it. I think it's around five to six kilos um the machine itself. So it comes to this one, the foot pedal I think. So yes, and some bits to go in the machine I'm assuming when you thread it. So yes. This is like a closer look. There you go. So in person really it looks sturdy and 
it is sturdy <laughs> and it feel like it is quality it's not like just cheaply made you know so yes and there's this manual for us to operate the machine but i actually find it easier when i watch something you know in action yes i will need to read all of this and set up the machine but probably i'll do that tomorrow because it's quite late in the night now <laughs> And then it actually comes with a DVD, but I don't know who has a DVD player. I don't have one, but yeah, but it should be easy. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I need to. I need to actually watch um tonight, so I know what I'm doing tomorrow. But I'm really excited. There's loads of sewing kit in Am Amazon. Yeah. So there's loads of sewing kit, you know, in Amazon. So this one, it costs, I think, 22 pounds. But I wanted like a quality one and I wanted one with like a case on it. Could be organized easier. But yeah, this is, ooh. I love it, look. And this is what the thread looks like. See, it's quality. I think it goes somewhere here, isn't it? <laughs> that I know, and then you need to thread it and stuff like that, I guess, or maybe here. We'll see. <laughs> I need to really learn it tomorrow. I will. I promise myself. Everything is there in like um, quality scissor, measuring tape, ruler. Um, I don't know what these are called. Needles, buttons, and um, nimble or something like that. So, yes. <laughs> really looks good. There you go. Closer look, guys. Yes, guys. Obviously, I will update you once I try learning about this machine and obviously hopefully I can make a vlog wherein I can show you that I'm you know I'm really using it and <laughs> it does really work so hopefully there's no malfunctions with the machine because you just never know isn't it even though it has good reviews there's still few that could say like you know it malfunction like first day of use things like that but yes um this is my <laughs> mini unboxing of the sewing machine i've got my fireplace here this is the real fireplace and this is the one on tv it's just starting to get cozy here now um starting to get cold and also sadly a bit darker earlier and when i actually wake up to go for work around because i usually wake up at 6 10 a.m and, and it's now dark but before way back it's just super bright when i wake up so yes it's you know i guess i'm getting used to it now the weather and how how it how it is really <laughs> you guys out there who's having trouble with sizing and alterations i think this is a sign that you need to buy your own sewing machine as well and you know we'll sew together <laughs> And I should end this vlog now because I talk too much. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye!